This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar looking at color tools and effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll illustrate the basics of adjusting grayscale values. As we're adjusting something, the very first adjustment we make is grayscale. And what grayscale allows us to do is to play with the viewer's emotions. Shadows provide richness, highlights provide energy, and midtones determine the time of day and the emotion. This is a really important concept. There are technical limits we must honor with black levels, they can't go below zero, that we must honor with highlights, they can't go over 100%. But midtones can be wherever you want. There are three key rules of color correction. Rule one, for Rec. 709 for HD video, white levels must not exceed 100% and black levels must not go below zero for everything except the web. Now these values are clamped in 8-bit mode, but not in floating mode or HDR, which is why I like to drive my scopes in floating mode. Second rule is to remove a color, add the opposite color, which is the reason I use color wheels. It's very easy to find out what are opposites using the color wheels. And rule three, equal amounts of red, green, and blue equal gray. It's called additive colors, which is a fine thing to say, and it sounds great at a trivia party, but it doesn't really help us a whole lot. Where the help comes in is where we flip it around. If something is supposed to be gray, it must contain equal amounts of red, green, and blue. And we monitor this using the vector scope, which is my preference, or the RGB parade. If something is supposed to be gray, it must contain equal amounts of red, green, and blue, which means a single dot in the center of the vector scope. So when we're color correcting, we adjust grayscale values first. Don't assume the color white or the color black also has a grayscale value of 100% or 0%. Imagine yourself wearing a pure white t-shirt and you go into a darkened closet. The white color of your t-shirt hasn't changed, but it's not bright. There's no light hitting it, which means that it doesn't have a grayscale value of 100% because there's no light on it. Yes, the color is white, but it isn't grayscale white. Also, as we talked about with our grapefruit, when we're adjusting color, we have the greatest amount of latitude when we're adjusting midtones, which means that we want to work with midtones as much as possible when doing color correction. So here's the step by step. Put the playhead in a clip you want to correct. Evaluate the contrast using the waveform monitor and the color using the vector scope. Set the black level to zero, assuming that the shot contains something which is grayscale black. Set the white level not to exceed 100%, assuming something is that bright. Adjust the midtones as necessary, and after the grayscale values are adjusted, adjust the color. So here's how to access and adjust the Lumetri color panel settings, how to adjust the grayscale and color elements of an image, how to correct a washed out image, how to correct a color cast, and how to adjust skin tones to get a pleasing result. Let me show you how all this works. Here, we're back to our balloon photo again. We can see the blue balloon is right there, right around zero. Now, one of the cool things about the Lumetri panel is as soon as you start to make an adjustment, Premiere will select the clip that's underneath the playhead and apply the settings to that clip. So I'm gonna to go to Tone. Exposure allows us to adjust what I would consider mid-tones. As we drag this, it raises the highlights, it changes the mid-tones, but doesn't move the black levels a whole lot. So I'm going to pull this up. Now there's nothing pure white, so you don't want to take it up to 100% because there's nothing that's 100% there. We do want to make it brighter, somewhere right around in there. We'll take our black levels and pull these down just a bit. This is like an absolute setting for black level. Shadows allow me to play games with the black levels. We'll pull it down a bit. Highlights allow me to play with the brightness levels, the high at the brightest levels. And this gives me a good chance to, to tweak an image very quickly with basic correction. Notice I'm looking at the grayscale values over here, and I'm watching the saturation values. If I take the saturation, pull it down just a bit, We'll desaturate the balloons so they don't look quite so intense, but that's a personal matter more than anything else.
So under basic correction, midtones, contrast, I tend not to mess with. Though you're welcome to mess with any of these. This adjusts the brightest parts, the darkest parts. This adjusts the maximum value for highlights, the minimum value for black levels. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at color tools and effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 279. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.